Hi friends, I thought I would do a video because I know a lot of people have been wondering where I am and what happened with um, Locked Illusions, so I thought that I would share that with you guys um, and, uh, you know, all of that. I wanted to let you guys know that I am, I am beyond happy now. God's delivered me from some amazing things, which is awesome, and I've never been happier in my life. I also wanted to let each one of you, all of you know that I love you so incredibly much. More than I loved you then because I didn't know how because the pain I was in. And so I, I kind of wanted to share that with you guys and uh, kind of give, you know, a little testimony of what's been going on and uh, what happened with all of that. So I had been suffering in immense pain for years um, for as long as I can remember just extreme depression to a, a real extreme degree um, the emotional pain now looking back was just it was so heavy you know it was so heavy I felt crushing pain in my soul deep down within like I, I would cry into my pillow almost every night um, you know, and so the, the pain was, I mean, I could feel the crush. I could feel a literal crushing of my soul and it felt so real, um, just as real as physical pain. If you were to be stabbed or, or, or hit, you know, in the gut or the chest physically, I mean, it was a physical, emotional pain is how bad it hurt and um every day of my life I, I thought of taking my own life every single day every waking moment that's what I thought of is taking my own life and I was surprised about how old I got in life because and I made it that far I was like wow I'm, I'm surprised off I've surprised I'm really surprised I made it this far you know with pain like that um, and wanting to die for as long as I, I can remember, you know, I, there were times where I wouldn't eat because I felt unworthy of food. I mean, you know, there were things that I'd deprived myself of and, uh, I lived in total darkness because that's all I knew. All I knew was total darkness. And so that's what I embraced was darkness because that's all I knew was that pain. Um, and so... You know, I, I tried to, that's something that I tried to overcome myself. I mean, I used to go to therapy. Um, they've put me on medication for depression before. And, of course, I, I try to deal with it in my own ways. Uh, me trying to help myself, it, it didn't, it, none of that helped me. Um, I was still in pain. And this is, and the truth is, and something I didn't realize at the time is that even through locked illusions, all of that was, you know, I, I was still in pain during that time. And a lot of that was birthed through pain. Um, so I, I live that every day. And, you know, if anybody is, is feeling that way, you can you can reach out to me and we can talk you know I, I don't want anybody to sit in silence and alone going through that kind of pain that kind of depression that kind of torment you know that kind of isolation uh, it, it's horrible to go through alone and so anyway this is what was happening you know all of my life and even through the time, you know, running Locked Illusions. And a lot of that art artwork that you see that I did was birthed through pain. I, I embraced the darkness from a really early age. I embraced that because that's what I knew. I knew the darkness. I didn't know the light. I just knew despair. And that is what I embraced because I finally got comfortable, uncomfortable, if that makes sense. Uh, I felt comfort in being sad. I felt 
comfort uh, uh, in the thoughts of suicide. I felt comfort in all of these dark things. And that's, and that's the truth. That's, that's where I was. That was my home, so to speak. My home was in pain. My home was in darkness. My home was in torment. Okay? So anyway, I was, I was, you know, doing my artwork and stuff like that. And as much as I love all of you, no matter the number of fans I had or any money I made or any kind of validation that I got through any of that was not enough. I was still in pain. I was still embracing darkness, which was the pain, you know, I, I built around me that it, 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 it was never enough. The recognition, all of that, none of that was ever enough. Still, I wanted to die. Still, I was hurting. Still, you know, I just had this awful, awful mentality. And I did, I, I felt God and I felt Him. And it was like I knew that He wanted me to quit. I knew that was a step that He wanted me to take was to quit locked illusions and, and move on. And, you know, with him, but I didn't understand that at all. I'm like, well, I, you know, I, I, I was doing well and, you know, all this stuff. So it was hard for me to think beyond that point, being that depressed and having this kind of notoriety. That was really hard to move past. And I felt it impressed on me from God. But at that time, I wasn't ready. So things started not going well in my family and I'll keep that personal for now. I may come and talk about some of that stuff later, but I'm, I don't feel right now I'm ready exactly. But anyway, things were happening with my family and uh, my heart was just breaking. It brought me to my absolute knees and my heart was already broken and now, it, it was just worse. Like, I can't even describe it. It was so horrible. And um, I, I knew at this point, something had to happen. Something had to change. I can't stay like this, you know. And so, I, re I reached out to someone. And anyway, someone ended up coming to my house and, and uh, praying over my house and praying with me, which I, I desperately needed and welcomed at the time and still would, but... You know, I was I was getting open to all that. And uh, she came, and she prayed with me and my son and everything, and my family. And so, she looked around my place, okay? And this was confirmation because God had put it on my heart. And when I say this, I am not judging anyone who's watching this video that takes interest in these type things. Um, I love you despite all of the, all of anything that you might find uh, interesting or that you might be into, etc. Um, so just know this when I say this. I'm not judging anyone who's, you know, watching this video at all. Um, I never, I wouldn't do that. I love you guys. But anyway, she came to my place and um, she saw some of my work on my walls. Uh, I think there's like maybe one uh, maybe two. I don't, I don't remember at the time. And I had a lot of dark stuff in my house because that's what I surrounded myself with stuff that represented the dark stuff that I thought I found fascinating at the time and things that brought me comfort because they were dark things, you know? And she, she looked at me and, and remember God had already placed it on me. He was telling me, but I was kind of like brushing it off and not really listening, uh, and, uh, and she told me, she said, this, she said, the stuff here, um, that you have is inviting, you know, a lot of really bad things, you know, she told me that she was sorry to tell me that, and that she hoped that she did not offend me by saying so, but she pre she felt pressed by God to tell me. And that was my confirmation. 
And instead of being offended or upset or any of that, I just cried because I knew that she was right. I knew that all these things that I was embracing was not of light. And a lot of it did represent death because that's where I was in my life. I was in the phase of death. I mean, that was what was happening. And so I remember when she left, I just, I sobbed. I cried and I cried. I pulled all of the dark things off the walls, off the shelves, all that I had. And I was so angry that I was deceived into thinking these things were okay. I was so angry at, you know, the enemy. I was angry that I'd been deceived. I was angry with myself. I was just so upset and I was crying. And I took all of it outside. I, I broke it. I stomped it in. I was so mad. I was like stomping things in. I was upset and I got rid of it all. Because I realized what was happening to my life. I realized what was happening with my family. I realized everything, everything was coming clear to me. So I stomped all that in. And um, I deleted my fan page because I knew that that is what God wanted. I knew that I was living, that was perpetuating me and keeping me in bondage. All of these things were absolutely keeping me in bondage. And it was made clear in that moment. Um, so after that, um, I just really started pressing into God. You know, I was like, God, I wanted him to deliver me from all this pain I was under and all this bondage I was under. And um, I know that my ne the next thing I know, my neighbor had invited me to church. And I told her no before on several occasions because that's just not, that's not what I was ready for or wanted at the time, you know. And now I was more open to it. And she asked me, and at that time, honestly, I didn't go because I wanted to at the time. I went because I really like her. She's a really, really sweet, loving woman. And I was like, you know, I'll go. For that reason alone, she's been good to me. She's, you know, been loving and kind. She's brought us food just to be a welcoming, nice neighbor. I mean, you know, she's done all these things. And I'm like, okay, the least that I can do is go to, you know, go to her church. And so I went. Mind you, I've, I've went to church before. It's not like I've never been or anything else. And I've checked out several churches in my area. And anyway, I went to this one and I was blown away. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I was there and I felt something I'd never felt before. Um, everybody was so loving and so kind and so inviting. And long story short, I kept going. I ended up going to a prayer meeting one night. And all of the pain that I felt and was under, I released it to God. Um, I received the Holy Spirit, which, you know, a lot of people don't understand what that means. And any, if anybody wants more info on that, I'd be more than happy to share it with you guys. Just let me know. But I was filled with the Holy Spirit in that moment. God took over and all the pain, Everything that I felt when I received the Holy Spirit, and that was after me giving full submission to God and, and telling God, I can't do this anymore. I can't live in this type of pain. I can't suffer like this. And, you know, I wanted my family to be okay, you know. So I cried out to Him and received His precious Holy Spirit. And whenever I did, that hu the huge, massive amount of pain and suffering, any regrets that I had of, of bad choices I ever made, all of it just lifted off of me. It just came off. It was like, it felt like 
I didn't, I had no idea how much pain I was carrying until that was lifted off. It was amazing. So God's delivered me from all that. And none of this I could have understood until God delivered me and entered my life. You know, I couldn't have understood any of that. But I just want you guys to know I love you. And that's my story about locked illusions and what happened. I couldn't be happier. I am telling you, I couldn't be happier. God is so good. He is so good and he loves you too and he can do it for you too. Just trust him. If anybody needs help or someone to talk to that's thinking about suicide or is living in depression or is hurting or just wants more information about God or anything or just needs a friend, then just shoot me a message and I'll be there. I, I would love to talk to you. Anyway, I love you guys so much. You know, you guys are awesome and God loves you. He created you. You're not a waste of space. You're not an accident. You have a purpose. You have a purpose and you are loved. All right, guys. Until next time, love you. Bye-bye.